Dr. Hewings, we've seen some improvements in the economic picture in Illinois. Unemployment rate was lower than the nation last month, and there was a jump, 11.1 percent, from uh, in December home sales compared to November. Is this enough momentum to get the spring housing market moving? Well, I'd like to say yes. I think it's certainly encouraging news. We've added year over year about 46,000 jobs in Illinois, and that's very, very good news after several years where the economy has not performed very well. However, I think as we look forward, the first two months of 2011, we're going to see sales probably a little depressed compared to last year, when I think the effect of the federal stimulus really did result in very dramatic increases. I think it will probably be March, April, May before we start to see an uptick. What about mortgage interest rates? They've been below five, but there's been some uptick. What impact will mortgage interest rates have on the spring housing market? I really don't think very much. When they were at their historic lows, we didn't see very much impact. I think the mortgage interest is historically way below it where it has been, and I think people making decisions to buy the houses are using other criteria. The interest rate I don't think is a major contributor to a decision whether to buy or not to buy at the present time. You've talked a little bit about how the first quarter of 2011 is still going to show the impact of the increased sales from the tax credit, which expired last April. After the first quarter, what do you see happening for the Illinois housing market? Well, our forecast suggests that sales, uh, both year over year and month to month, are going to be elevated. And I think that's uh, very good news. I think a lot of people have been holding back, hoping that things might improve. The fact that the national and Illinois unemployment rates have declined, even though they're not way down, I think at least moving in the right direction. So I think we can look probably for a pretty strong summer and early fall. Towards the end of the year, I think it's really too early to wrap our arms around any consistent forecast.